Tough living in the same city with Pete Carroll. Take back on offense. Ball loading up. Deep downfield for Nate Perry. He's free. Touchdown. Andy Oaks. Curry's third touchdown catch on the year, the longest pass of the season for Georgia Tech. And Travis Bell through those inviting uprights. 21 to 6. A lot of points in the opening quarter for the Yellow Jackets. Now this is this shouldn't happen in cover two. Two reasons this happened. Number one, the corner. Tenar Jackson at least has to get a hand to slow down Curry. Once he allows him to get a free release, now it's a foot race. But the safety can't let him get behind him. O'Neal Scott can't let that happen in cover two. But Tenar Jackson, the cornerback, didn't help O'Neal Scott by not even putting a hand on Nate Curry. And watch Reggie Ball. They, you know, the defensive backs gave up. They didn't think he's going to throw it this far. But watch that good. He throws it like a javelin. Comes yep. off that left foot front. What a perfect pass. O'Neal Scott's problem there, Kirk, was he went at the wrong angle. He went to a spot, should have been deeper. Ooh. But what a pass by Reggie Ball. Looks like, to me, right now, the most valuable player in this ball game is Reggie Ball. I was yeah, I was just going to say, get a shot of Reggie Ball's face right now after the way oh. his season has gone and after the way the last game he played against mm. Georgia, everything that happened towards the end of that game, and we'll talk about that throughout the broadcast, it was a tough year for him and a great start. Even though he's missed a few throws, a great start, and you can almost see him just release after he threw that football, just a release of energy. Like, thank you. Needed that one. 